Let's talk about a situation where we have permutations, but our objects are not distinct. So what I mean is, in our example we started with, we had A, B, and C, and we wanted to know the number of ways we could arrange these. And we had three ways for the first choice, two for the second, one for the third. That gave us six choices. If our elements are not distinct, so suppose I have A, B, B, I have B twice. Well, that's going to change the number of arrangements. So I could have ABB, -B, I could have BAB, -B, and I could have BBA. Those are my only options. So how do we take this into account mathematically? So the way we take this into account is we use this formula. In our example, N is 3. We have three elements. A occurs one time, B occurs two times. So to use this formula, I'm going to have 3 factorial over 1 factorial times 2 factorial. And that's going to be 3 times 2 times 1 over 1 times 2 times 1. You can see all this is going to cancel, and I am just going to be left with 3, which is the number of permutations I found when I repeated my B. So a common type of example for this is you want to find the number of permutations in a word, but some of the letters in the word are repeated. So in the word Atlanta, one, two, three, four, we have seven letters, so N is going to be seven, but we have three A's, two T's, so... Um, since we have three A's, we're going to let N1 be 3. We have two T's, so N2 is going to be 2. N3, which is going to be uh, L, and N4 is N. We have one of those. Okay, so here's our setup. We have 7 factorial divided by 3 times 2 times 1 times 1 factorial. And when you do these factorials, you want to... Um, cancel all this. So I can cancel 3 times 2 times 1. And here. And the 1s. So I'm going to have 7 times 6 times 5 times 2, which is going to be 420. Okay, let's do one more example of this situation. Suppose I have the word Benton, and I want to know how many permutations I have. So first off, I have six letters, so N is six. Then I want to see how many of each letter I have. I have one B, I have one E, I have two Ns, I have one T, I have one O. So we can use our formula. I'm going to have 6 factorial, and then I'm going to divide by each of these factorial. So 1 factorial, 1 factorial, oops, 2 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial. So this is going to be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 1 times 2 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Okay, those we can cancel. The 1's all cancel. So 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 is 360. There are 360 ways for me to arrange the letters in the word Benton.